Hey, good morning, friends, and welcome to our weekly Team Jesus Outdoors Detroit River Walleye Report. This is report number four of 2020. Hey, guys, in this short report, I'm going to update you on the current Detroit River Walleye conditions. And at the end of this report, I'm going to share with you the winner of our 2,000 subscriber giveaway contest. Hey guys, despite the rain we had this week, the water clarity in the river is still really, really good. Like we've been dealing with for over a year now, the water's pretty high still. But what's hurting us is the water temps are, the water temps are still flirting with that 40 degree mark, but just haven't quite cracked that 40 degree mark yet. So we're still dealing with some pretty cold water most of the reports that I'm getting of guys out fishing are pretty spotty still. There are a handful of guys now getting limits, but the guys that are getting limits are really working for them. If you missed our video from Friday where we actually got out of the water last week, make sure to go back and watch Friday's video. I'll put a link in the description right here. But one of our, one of our TJO team anglers got out on Wednesday or Thursday and he had essentially the exact same luck that we had on Monday. The water temp's still just a little on the cold side and it's still a bit of a struggle to get limits. Hey, but the size of the fish this year are really, really nice. I believe we're about a week away from really hot fishing. Hey guys, while jigging the river is still pretty slow, Lake Erie is on fire and it's giving up some pigs. So the guys that are getting out and trolling Erie are having great success. We're actually hoping to get out and troll Lake Erie here in the next few days, sometime in the next week. Well, hey guys, I gotta tell you, thank you very much for all your support over the past month. Our 2,000 subscriber giveaway was a huge success. We picked up 350 subscribers in the month of March. You guys are just awesome. One of the lessons that we learned was this is the right way for us to do our giveaway contests. Because so many of our subscribers don't have Facebook accounts, but most of you all have an email address so this method just worked out perfectly and I really enjoyed being able to exchange communication with you guys via email. I got to hear from a whole bunch of you about what you like about the channel, what you'd like to see us do with the channel. It was just perfect. I believe this is the way that we'll do our contest from here on out. Hey, I had several of you ask what you can do to help support Team Jesus Outdoors. And honestly, for most of you, if you just keep doing what you're doing, keep watching the videos, keep smashing that like button. Most importantly, keep sharing those videos on your Facebooks. That really helps us grow our channel. And growing the YouTube channel helps us to grow the ministry of Team Jesus Outdoors. For those of you that feel led to support Team Jesus Outdoors financially, we do have a Patreon account. You can find the link to our Patreon account in two places. You can find it on the main page of our website at teamjesusoutdoors.com and you can also find the Patreon link at the top of our YouTube main page. So if you click on the Team Jesus Outdoors logo underneath the video, it'll take you to our Team Jesus Outdoors main page and at the top of that page there's a link to the Patreon. Hey, but guys, I have loved hearing from you guys via email. Please feel free to continue with those email comments and questions. Please continue to comment on the channel. Please continue smashing that like button, leaving comments on the videos. And please continue sharing those videos on your Facebook page. We are going to be able to expand the ministries of Team Jesus Outdoors this year. We're looking forward to do some meetups. As I've mentioned before, 
That first meetup is going to be in November in Huron, Ohio at Lance Valentine's Teach and Fishing Weekend. For those of you guys that are interested in being down there, make sure to drop me a line. Make sure to drop me an email. As always, my email address is in the description box below. But hey guys, as I mentioned in Friday's video, Friday was the deadline to enter the contest. We had more than we had more than 50 unique entries into the contest. We had a total of 72 entries because quite a few of you entered both ways. So by far this was our most successful giveaway. And like I told you I would do, I created everyone who entered either via email or via sharing the video. I entered you onto a spreadsheet. Friday at 5 o'clock I used random.org to draw a winner and I found it pretty fascinating that the random number generator generated number one. So the winner of our 2,000 subscriber giveaway was our first entrant into the contest, Elliot Err. Elliot dropped us an email. Elliot had the number 2,000 in the, in the subject line of the email. And Elliot's email says, I am a new member and loving it. Thanks a whole bunch, guys, for entering this contest. Congratulations, Elliot. I'll be dropping you an email to get your address so I can send you your package. Guys, as I've said before, Team Jesus Outdoors would not exist except for you guys, and I appreciate your support. I appreciate all that you do for the channel. There are only two kinds of men in this world, fellas. There's men that need Jesus, and there's men that need more of Jesus in their life. It's our mission here at Team Jesus Outdoors to help you figure out which one of those guys you are and help you take your next steps towards Jesus Christ. Hey, God bless, tight lines. We'll see you guys on the river.